All right, welcome everybody to another mixing video. Today we're going to be looking at a really cool trick that I learned from one of my favorite producers slash engineers slash mixers, and that is the Warren Hewitt vocal thickening technique. A lot of things that I I do in my my mixing and mastering are actually things that I learned from from guys like Warren, um, Graham Cochran, and Dave Pensado. So um, I would like to start by saying thank you so much to to you guys and everybody else out there on YouTube who are making free content for people to to learn how to mix and master. Um, it's helped me a lot, and I know that uh, without that help, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today. And um, you guys were the, actually the ones who inspired me to uh, start making these tutorials in order to... Uh, uh, because I, I, I feel like if I can help at least one person as much as those guys have helped me in my my knowledge of, of mixing and mastering then I feel like um, uh, I feel like I, I, I've accomplished something um, a good deed so to speak so um, thank you once again so moving right along um, let's start by saying um, disregard these four uh, vocal plus three minus three minus six plus six etc et um, because that's part of the trick um, but um, when you first start out you're not gonna have those tracks most likely you're just gonna have a uh, mono vocal right because usually when you record a vocal you record it in mono or if somebody sends you a track it's gonna be in mono which this is actually a track that was sent to me from one of my subscribers we're working on this track together. Um, I recorded the bass guitar and the electric guitars on this. Um, he programmed the beat and pr he programmed the acoustic guitar and recorded his friend. Um, this song is in the Hindi language, so um, I actually don't understand what they're saying, but it's a beautiful, beautiful vocal. Very, very professional sounding and um, I've had a, a lot of fun um, playing on this and um, I basically just threw together a real quick basic mix um, it's by no means complete um, in fact this isn't even done in the production stage so uh, um, there will be more tracking going on and um, rearranging and things like that so disregard the quality of the mix I guess and um, there are some like rhythm mistakes in in uh, some of the tracks, like the acoustic guitar. There's some sudden uh, off time chords, but uh, th th this video is more about the vocal technique here. Okay, so disregard those things and um, pay attention to the trick, because um, the trick is what I'm trying to demonstrate here, not how to mix an entire song. Just this one little uh, vocal technique, which is really really creative. Okay, so Warren uses um, Pro Tools, and he also has a video showing this in Studio One. I use Cubase, so um, that's what I'll be showing how to do this in. So getting started, you either come up here to Devices and VST Connections, or as you can see, you can press F4, and that'll open up your VST Connections window. It defaults to Outputs, which is exactly where you need to be. So you're going to right-click in here, you're going to add a bus and it's going to be a stereo bus okay so when that comes up you're going to select under audio device not connected okay so very important you're going to click on your vocal track now and go over to the left where it shows input routing and output routing under your output routing you're going to change it from your stereo out which is your master fader or mix bus and you're gonna select stereo out 2 which is the the new stereo bus that you just created okay that's very important then from there you're gonna right click and add an audio track a stereo track and I'm gonna name it stereo vocal and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a stereo copy of our mono vocal that we have if you have a stereo vocal you don't need to do that okay so this is only if you're starting with a mono vocal okay so also very very important with your stereo vocal track we're also gonna go over to the input and output routing 
but now we're going to change our input routing from whatever input you have in my case it says stereo in and we're going to select that new output that we created as our input for the stereo track so it's being sent from the, the mono vocal to the stereo output then from the stereo output into the input of our stereo vocal and um, I'm not gonna record the entire vocal here because as you can see I've already done that but um, I'll, I'll just do a, a real quick um, just like this first little intro part um, just so you can see that it's creating a stereo vocal from our mono vocal track so I'll monitor it so we can hear it and we'll go ahead and record tu bandi meri cappuccino main sasti wali chai teri tu bandi meri cappuccino main sasti wali chai teri raja hu main tera tu hi reh jana bas meri tu bandi meri cappuccino main sasti wali chai teri So as you can see, we created a stereo copy of a mono vocal. And that's that's what you'll have to do. Um, you would do this for the entire vocal take, obviously, not just a short little segment like we did here. Um, so since I've already done that, I'll go ahead and I'll remove this track, um, and I'll switch my my mono vocals output back to the original stereo out. Okay. And to be safe, we'll go ahead and save, right? That's always important. And um, once you have your vocal, your stereo vocal, um, I name it vocal plus three minus three because that's what I'm going to do to it. And uh, you have to make three additional copies of that stereo vocal, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the trick now. So on your first one, um, I use Waves Doubler 2 Stereo. Okay, you can use another plugin um, as long as it can affect uh, the tuning in increments of cents on the left and right side, um, which is what this is doing, this doubler two. So um, basically, the red here um, represents the left side, and the purple is the right side. Um, so the left side is being pitched up plus three cents and the right side is being pitched down minus three cents okay and another very important thing here is to make sure that this direct signal is taken out so um, this on another plugin this might be like a wet dry thing um, direct means your dry signal and um, we don't need the dry signal because that'll just make the uh, the your original vocal track louder and louder um, we don't need that. We just need the pitched sounds. Okay, so make sure that um, if you look at this graph here, you could see left, uh, direct, and right. So we want to get rid of this white one. Okay. So on your other tracks, pretty self-explanatory. Now you do the same thing, but you do minus six plus six. And the reason that we're doing that, so plus three minus three minus six plus six is because I'm going to pan both of those to the left side and I don't want too many uh, pitched up things on the left versus the right okay so you want it to be even amount of pitched up and pitched down things on uh, either side okay so so on and so forth uh, plus nine minus nine and then this stereo track is panned to the right okay so as you can see this is going to add uh, a wide dimension of of depth and width and um, as the name implies it just really makes things thick so minus 12 plus 12 so um, let's go ahead and start by listening to just the uh, the pitched vocals and then um, we'll listen to the little guitar intro and then when the vocals come back in we'll add the the dry vocals um, well, not dry because it has a lot of effects on it, but um, our mono vocal track, I should say. And um, then what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll exaggerate this. Um, I'll bring it in and out. Uh, I'll bring the the original mono vocal in and out, and um, we'll listen to it in solo, and we'll listen to it in the track. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and give this a listen now that we know how to do the technique. Raja hu mat tera tu hi reh jana bas meri tu bandi meri ke pichinu main sasti wali chai teri موسیقی تجھ سے ملا مجھ کو یہ آسمان تجھ سے ملی ہے زمین میں سہرا سہرا بٹکا میری پیاس ہے تو ہر خوشی ہر وقت ہے اس دل کو بس تیری کمی تو آس ہے So as you can hear, um, this technique really, really just widens things up. And um, when I listen to this on headphones or, or my monitors, I can just, it sounds like it's going outside the speakers. I mean, it's just, it widens things up like no belief. Um, I mean, I really love this technique. Um, it's a simple technique, but it's something so creative. I mean, I would have never, ever, ever thought of this. So um, thank you so much, Warren Hewitt, for... Uh, for um for demonstrating this technique on your channel um i'm going to leave a link in the description to his channel in case nobody has seen or in case somebody hasn't seen um his video on this or you know if you're using pro tools um you could see how he does it in there or studio one um yeah uh, i have my own technique for making thick and wide vocals that i call the vocal spread technique um, but sometimes I want it even more wide than that, and I'll go to his technique because it's it's really a great one. Um, I really, really like this technique, and I think it, it really is uh, really flexible because then you can automate any one of these, or you can automate it as a whole, kind of like I was doing there. Um, you know, if you want it to be a little bit more narrow in the in the verse and wider in the chorus, well, this is a really great way of doing that. And um, to me, creative technique, very flexible one, very, very, very cool. 
So once again, thank you so much, Warren Hewart. Um, I'm by no means taking credit for this. This is by 100% uh, his technique. And um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to demonstrate it in Cubase, as well as if somebody hasn't seen his technique, um, they can now learn it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you didn't, you can give it a dislike. That's okay. You're entitled to your opinion, as I always say. If you really liked it, please subscribe. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Or as, as, um, um, as Warren would say, I hope you're doing marvelously well. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much.